Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to discuss the performance of mirroring a screen to your Chromecast. Now plenty of people have actually shown how to done this and they use it as a secondary monitor, but I was more concerned with the video performance of it. People always show in the videos how they scroll through their screen and it seems pretty fluid. The method to share your entire screen, including your taskbar down here and everything, any program you want, you go to your Chromecast button on Chrome, click the little down arrow there, and then cast this screen window, select your Chromecast device, and say, I want to mirror the entire screen, screen number one, and hit share. And it'll share the entire screen and any audio coming out of your computer. And that works pretty well for text and images and other things. But I noticed with video, it's not very good. We'll hide this. Um, we'll zoom this in. This is on the computer. And you'll see the motion off of the DirecTV Online feed is pretty fluid. This also applies to any other video streaming website. It's not just DirecTV, but this is what I was watching. So Now on the actual TV, we got audio. You'll see it's a little jumpy compared to uh, that what was on the computer. You could probably live with it, but it's it's maybe like half the frames per second, so you can see it. It might be easier to see in person, but on a little screen it's not bad, but on a bit, bigger screen you can really notice the jitter. So I just want to make this video to show that if you're planning on using the Chromecast 2 as a secondary monitor, um, you might want to rethink that. All right, you'll see the video on this screen is pretty fluid. It's well watchable. You can see my computer taskbar there. You notice how jittery the video is. And it's really noticeable in person when you're watching it on a large TV. This is a uh, wireless AC router being used on the 5 GHz channel with no other 5 GHz uh, access points uh, discoverable. So yeah, still pretty cool to be able to mirror your screen, but the uh, encoding technology for the Chromecast Remote Desktop, which I believe it's using, still has a little way to go. So. Maybe an HDMI cable still has a place.